ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hi, you've clicked on the Weather Extreme video. I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters with you for this March the 1st edition. And let's get right to some sky cam images. How about this shot from our Clanton sky cam showing uh, the clouds heading out? but also showing the sun rising. But in Coleman, it's a different story. We can see some of the patchy fog going on and then just can't help but go for a bridge shot, uh, the Edmund Pettus Bridge down at Selma, certainly looking very nice. And some of us will see some fog and some low clouds, but those should be breaking up. Cold front is uh, actually uh, drawn in the wrong spot here on this map. It should be down in South Alabama. It's beginning to wash out as the major trough has moved eastward and is now on the east coast of the United States, putting us in a cool flow, but only uh, relatively cool for this time of year. And we should be in between systems for at least a day, and that will give us uh, great weather until we see Monday. Temperatures uh, not as cold as we've seen, although the purple has come back in to the extreme northern part there up in uh, central Canada. But uh, temperatures across the southeast, relatively mild this morning. And in Alabama, you can see the fog primarily in the Tennessee River Valley down to near Birmingham uh, with temperatures uh, generally in the 40s uh, across the area this morning. QPF-wise, wow, isn't it nice? Part of Alabama is now out of the D4 exceptional drought, and it looks like we've got some more rain coming our way. That will be wonderful. Severe weather, though, shaping up as a real possibility. Here's the outlook for uh, day two, which is uh, Sunday into Monday, and it looks like the focus will be in Texas. Uh, that focus shifts on day three in Alabama, nearly the entire state, plus Mississippi and Louisiana, a good portion of southeast uh, Texas will be in the Outlook area. That weather shifts on eastward on, uh, uh, what is this? Uh, this is day four. Uh, that will be uh, Tuesday. All right, let's go with the 06Z GFS model run. And as I just mentioned, we're going to see for tomorrow uh, a kind of between systems with a ridge in place in the upper atmosphere and surface high pressure gradually shifting off the east coast, allowing some return flow and moisture to come up into Texas, Oklahoma, and the Kansas and Missouri areas. Now, here comes our big system for Monday. This is the trough and the what will eventually become a closed low now over West Texas, and that will be bringing a cold front along with a development of a low pressure center. And now it looks like the models are coming together with a little bit further north, means that we will be more into a severe weather threat. Let's take an intermediate time. Uh, this is actually Monday night around midnight, and there's the surface low. And it looks to me like uh, you could probably put that uh, surface low, oh, maybe over about uh, Hamilton or Russellville, something like that, uh, with the cold front stretching down into uh, New Orleans area. Now, the low closes off, but a little further north than what some of the previous model runs have been doing. And uh, I th actually think this is looking pretty good. And with that, uh, we'll see the weather gets on out of here. There's the low now positioned uh, up over extreme eastern Kentucky with that cold front trailing down uh, into northwest Florida. So the weather should be out of here, and it'll be kind of a brisk day on uh, Tuesday, I think, uh, with uh, not much change in temperature. Uh, we definitely get that weather system out of here as the low moves on up into New England and, of course, creates some serious issues for uh, some of the extreme eastern Ohio River Valley. On uh, a Thursday... Our next weather system in the upper atmosphere is coming our way, and with that, we see uh, pretty cold air. Look at those thicknesses and all that uh, blue, those blue thickness lines over the central plains, uh, and a cold front coming our way. Uh, we now are showing that uh, there's a rather broad area of low pressure along the Gulf Coast, and that could spell some problems. And Now, right now, according to this, and also looking at the 850 temperatures, it looks like the problems would be primarily uh, in West Tennessee, northern Mississippi. But this is certainly one that we need to watch. And just a quick, a quick peek at the uh, other models, uh, especially the European, doesn't show quite that. So not a lot of confidence. By Saturday, uh, the clouds are getting out of here. And then by uh, Sunday, looks like we're under surface high, but a rather uh, cool weekend in store for us. 
Uh, and then finally, um, Sunday, uh, high pressure and uh, moderation occurring, and which is fairly typical for the southeastern U.S. Quick look out into voodoo land. Here's the 15th of March, the Ides of March, and uh, also one month from tax day, but another weather system and uh, that and uh, promising some additional rain. So definitely an active weather pattern and uh, one we'll have to keep our up on our toes and keep uh, watching what's happening one system at a time, though. Uh, enjoyed seeing the folks in Coleman yesterday at the Handy TV and Appliance, programming some NOAA weather radios, getting those things set right, and headed out for the Easter Seal Walk in Alabaster at Veterans Park this morning. Certainly hope that you have a great weekend. God bless. Weather, 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 weather.